Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So the video today is going to be a freestyle. I'm just going to talk about what's in the news. And uh, I guess toward the end of the video, I'll know what I'm going to name the video. Usually I start out ahead of time and know what I'm going to talk about, and that's what we do. But this way, we'll just uh, see what comes out and um, go from there. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So I literally don't know what uh, this reading is going to be about. It'll just be off the top of my head, uh, whatever is happening. Uh, whatever I've been uh, watching in the news, I presume. Um, and remember, I'll tell you more about these cards at the end of the video. Um, so, uh, yeah, just just to see what happens. We'll pull the cards. There's so much going on. You can't tell me there's not uh, a lot of uh, feelings out there in the ether uh, waiting for uh, someone to uh, delve into it. And uh, something I haven't done before. I haven't just done... Uh, no topic to see how that goes. But what is going on right now? So I guess the big deal in the U.S., of course, it's all about uh, the trial uh, for Trump and um, all these salacious people who are uh, uh, testifying. Stormy Daniels was today. And then um, interesting uh, because they're also talking about uh, Karen McDougal and that Stormy Daniels got introduced to Karen McDougal at a party. <laughs> And uh, so that's interesting. Um, then on the, the other side of the pond, always uh, King uh, Charles III is a good subject, but you know, what else can you ask? What more can you say? Um, you know, we're not gonna get a good sense of when. Uh, he has got the best care available to anybody and it won't be a just purely simple uh, go through the illness every measure that can be made possible will be made possible to take care of him obviously but the other thing is uh, Kate uh, Middleton so it's so odd that we don't know what's wrong with her but it seems like it was I don't know I need to start writing some of this down so so uh, for Trump I don't know what do what more do we want to know does Melania care Melania care. That's enough for Trump. Um, for uh, the Royals, for the Royals, what, uh, well, I guess Kate Middleton, is she doomed? Is Kate doomed? And then uh, whatever else comes up around those reads. We'll just do that. How does that sound? So yeah, so simply uh, Trump, uh, Melania, does she care at all? And it's Kate Middleton Doom, but before we do any of that, we're gonna have just a moment of meditation. she care on a personal level is there some uh, sympathy in her for him or is she hurt personally by betrayal just three cards to kind of get us um, some flavor of where she might be for Melania is she betrayed does she care at all where is she in this Melania first card so this is the Knight of Vessels and it's represented as an eel and uh, so vessels would be cups cups are emotion a knight is a fighter but look at this slippery eel it just feels right for her doesn't it this slippery eel uh, sliding its way down this kind of darkish 
a canal, an eel, does it, you know, bring to mind anything that's particularly warm and cozy, but, um, but the fact that it's the Knight of Vessels, this involves a lot of emotion and a fighter for, the, for whatever that emotion is, the slippery eel. Uh, does Millennia care? The Pole Star, so this would be like, you know, the North Star, the, the Star card. Um, this is what is her uh, destiny, always, to be uh, that bright star. And then the next card is the Page of Bows. <sighs> Bows is going to be more like, has to be more like spades, which are uh, swords, but it doesn't sound right, bows for that, but I'm going to have to say that's what it is. Uh, but the Page is a low-ranking uh, member of the Royal uh, So in the end, although she has strong uh, fighting um, uh, compassion for whatever her emotional uh, current is, uh, she is destined always to be, you know, in the star position. And uh, but just with this mm -hmm. slight uh, amount of um, uh, le legitimacy uh, for that kind of, those kind of feelings. So but does she care? Does she care at all about what's going on? So that's interesting. That, that kind of defines who she's going to be. And it's all about her. It didn't mention. Didn't bring anybody else into it. So does she care? Does she care at all? So. Uh, Cards. Does Melania care at all about all this Donald Trump uh, lying and cheating and the trouble he's going through? Does she have any uh, sympathy, compassion for him that's genuine? The Eight of Stones. So this is practicing uh, your craft, getting things just right. Stones are value. So, hmm, does she care? Uh, she's concerned about her value. The challenge to it, though, is the Nine of Stones, which is transition. Okay, so that, oh, that makes perfect sense. So yeah, she, her, she has been f focused on cr practicing her craft, getting her what to do her out of all of this over the changes that have been happening. And the challenge to her is that Nine of Stones when things do change. And then the basis of this whole thing is the Guardian, of course. So, well, because what she leaves behind is the legacy for her son, Varian. The guardian is the basis of all of this. And in the past is the journey. Oh yeah. The journey has been made. So now it's just seeing how you coast into the rest of this. So we obviously have to do this, probably a full Celtic cross, at least a dyadic cross. So at least two more cards. In the sky of this then, eight of arrows. So this is lots of, 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 of stuff going on. And um, wow. And then the final outcome, for the first part of this uh, full uh, Celtic cross is the four vessels. This is not quite wanting what you've ended up with. Interesting. So the uh, very self of that question, does she care? I think it all re is about how it relates to her. But does she care? The very self of that question is the two of vessels. Yeah, let me wait. Is it, you know, how do I weigh in on this? Um, in the environment of what? Um, the blasted oh, oh the tower card oh yeah the, the the tower card the blasted oak the disaster how do how is this going to be good for me in the midst of this disaster that he's created I haven't uh, the hopes and the fears seven of bows so like a seven of wands uh, having plans and having one uh, left over I don't think this is going to be uh, arrows I think this is going to be more like wands I may have called another one wands but just, just got to go with it. So yeah, lots of uh, the hopes and the fears that there aren't too many of uh, these uh, issues, but the likely outcome of everything then for does she even care is the seven of arrows, insecurity. Oh yeah, look at this person really, really uh, nailed by all of that. Truth, justice, rules, and law. So she cares only to the extent that it uh, affects her, honestly. There's no poor Donald. Um, he is, is poor Melania. He's gotten her into this. She, but I think at the same time she knows that um, what she signed up for could have ended up, maybe she didn't expect it to end up quite this much of a mess, but you know, she knew what she was getting into somewhat anyway. That it wasn't um, a charity uh, gig. This was about how to get rich and stay rich. Um, 
So, and so the other question then is uh, the Royals. Is Kate doomed? So the Royals. Kate, Princess Catherine. Um, what can the cards tell us about Princess Catherine's, you know, is this it for her? Is she planning for the end just like uh, her father-in-law is? Is Kate, is she doomed? Don't want to spread out. In all fairness, they didn't want to spread out for the last draws either. But is she doomed? A short spread. One, two. Let's just do three uh, and see uh, how this goes. Three cards for is Kate doomed? Three cards. First card is the Wanderer. And that's very interesting. So the Wanderer. That's like the Fool. So a new journey, huh? Could this, let's hope that this is the best uh, thing possible, that this is a new uh, journey for her and it's not a new journey into the last part. Um, and the Two of Bows decision. So uh, this is going to be, you know, swords really, try, trying to decide which way to go. And then uh, the Four of Bows celebration. So this is, so this is, okay, so this is going to be wands, bows are going to be wands. And so this is short term uh, plans, Inter interesting. And then uh, four bows celebration, which is usually a smaller celebration onto something bigger uh, in the in the future. But uh, does uh, is she doomed? It doesn't look like it. it. Looks like this is just the beginning of something. Although it, it could be sh a short term something. That doesn't mean you never life. It could be a short term uh, phase. This phase. Um, but let's do six cards. This doesn't feel as on point as the last one. So six cards uh, is Kate uh, doomed and I'm gonna make an effort to get these spread out. So six, one, two, three, four, five, and six is Kate doomed. Let's see. The uh, signifier card is the five of cups ecstasy. So, this is good. I mean, this is in a, being in a place that you want to be. Uh, it's challenged by the three of bows. So this is fulfillment. So this is long-term plans challenged by. So this really perfect um, emotional positioning is challenged by long-term plans. So long-term plans are what's not is what's coming in the way of all this uh, satisfaction. The basis of this is the ten of stones home. So this is just yeah very. Uh, so this this is the castle. This is home. This is family. Is the basis of all of this, and in the past of this is the ace of bows, spark of life. So bows is gonna have to be, you know, it should be uh, arrows. So spark of life, that's in the past. This great big ace of bows, spark of life, is in the past. The sky of this uh, for Kate is the six of stones, exploitation. So, and the, that's like the Six of Pentacles deciding who's going to get uh, this value, uh, who it's going to be dispersed to. And so the tools, uh, you know, the tool is broken here. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, hives back here, honey, but you know, it's dangerous. Uh, and look at this, so but that's mm -hmm. in the sky. That's the most you can hope for. So this isn't, uh, this isn't uh, pleasant. And then the final outcome, is the four of stones protection? Yeah, trying to hold on to your value. Wow, this is sad. Um, is she doomed? It, it sounds like it's not good. Uh, the very signifier of that question is the seven of arrows, insecurity. Look at that. I mean, really just pierced. <sighs> and then um, the environment that that's in is uh, thank God is the ace of vessels. So there's a lot of caring, the waters of life. So there's you know a good team. Uh, there to uh, nurture her. Um, the hopes and the fears are the night of vessels that eel, so that devilish um, eel, that dark comfort. Uh, and the likely outcome of all of this, then, for this Kate Doom, is a page of bows, page of cups. So she, it's a bows is going to be like an emotion, and the page is, you know, who someone who used to be so dear to us. She is.
Yeah, she's doomed. So, with that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. The Wildwood Tarot by Mark Ryan and John Matthews, and the illustrations are by Will Worthington. Very nice box these come in. They're beautifully illustrated cards, as you can tell from the cover. The only one of the problems, I have a couple of problems with the packaging, is the box is a little difficult to open, so I've left it partially open so I can get in there more easily to do this uh, review. But uh, the box itself is really nice quality. If you got this as a gift or if you gave this as a gift, you thought, well, that's a really nice gift. And uh, so uh, they're kind of Celtic um, influenced cards and published by Sterling Ethos. I got them on uh, Amazon. Now, once you get into the box, which is not that easy if it's fully closed, but once you get into the box, it's got an amazing uh, illustrated uh, book that tells you all about the cards. It's not in full color, but it's got a lot of uh, divination meanings in here. But if you go right to the back, it tells you about the two authors and the artist. Uh, Mark Ryan was an, an actor, a singer, a writer. It was in direction, and as it was even in the British TV film series uh, Robin of Sherwood. Then John Matthews, a historian, a folklorist, and the children's children's book author, and uh, also uh, graphic novels uh, having to do with King Arthur, Nazi Hut for the Grail. Very amazing. And then the artist Will Worthington has been an illustrator for 30 years and involved with some very interesting projects too and several other um, tarot related uh, projects. Now inside here, if you get, and I don't often take a lot of time to go into the uh, book, but on this one I will mention that if you do take the time to read through this book, it's really the best way to get to know these cards so they don't divine in the way that typical tarot cards do, uh, Rider Waite System does. There's some similarities, but not perfect. And uh, in this part one, Into the Green, the introduction by Mark Ryan, it really gives you some good ideas about why he decided to design the cards these ways, uh, this way and what they mean. So, good book. I really recommend that you look at the book and study it a bit, really, before you do the cards. Now, the packaging. I don't like when you have to suffer to get the cards out. They have a little hole here that you can kind of dig the cards out with, which kind of works, but it's not my favorite way uh, to get the cards. But, if you get past that and you get into the box, and you get to see the cards, well, you're gonna see they're amazing. Now, they're a nice card stock. They're kind of slicky. They're easy to use. Um, they um, distribute really well. And there's nothing particularly special about the back of them. They're, they're nice enough. But the card stock is quality. The cards shuffle really well, and they're easy to uh, do this kind of uh, shuffle like that. It's got a riffle shuffle, I think that's called. But when you look at the artwork on the cards, that's where everything really starts to shine. I mean, you really see how beautiful they are, all the intention that went into designing these cards, and you can really get some good uh, divinations out of here. There's some interesting uh, things here. They're not pentacles, uh, cups, uh, swords, and wands, but they're bows, uh, arrows, stones, and I forget what, and vessels. Uh, so those are the uh, different um, you know, designations of the cards in there. And then for the Major Arcana, they're a little bit different, uh, actually probably quite a lot different than the Major Arcana of other tarot cards that you may be used to seeing. But they're beautiful cards, and I really uh, love, and very positive message with these cards. So there you go, the Wildwood Tarot. Hope you enjoy them.